Now at six, a tribute to fallen service members and their families was unveiled at the South Carolina State House today. That's right, the State National Guard, the governor, the Gold Star families all got together to light this year's tree for the fallen. Jason Raven shows you more. Well, the holidays can be a difficult time for families of fallen service members here in South Carolina, but one small tribute here at the State House sends them a message that their lives will never be forgotten. We must also remember our Gold Star families, for they too have paid a price. At the South Carolina State House, a tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. We owe it to them, we owe it to their family, and we owe it to future generations to remember what they have done for this great nation. Gold Star families and organizations that support them got together at the State House Tuesday afternoon. They lit this Christmas tree known as the Tree for the Fallen. Now the tree is put up by the South Carolina National Guard's Survivor Outreach Services and others. When these, these South Carolinians sign on that dotted line, they are hoping that they will come back and they're also hoping that they will not be forgotten and they're also hoping that their families will not be forgotten and will be honored. On the tree are hundreds of gold stars reflecting the loss of South Carolina connected service members since January 2014. The hope is this tree can bring families some comfort this holiday season knowing their loved ones will not be forgotten. Our fallen service members names and stories are a true testament to who they were and their moral compass. That they chose to serve this beautiful nation speaks volumes about their character. I wish there was something I could say to ease your pain, but I want to reassure you that you are not alone. The tradition of this tree was started in 2019. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. And the tree will be displayed near the governor's office throughout the holiday season.